Hello everybody and welcome back to another figure review or late review with his Marvel Legends of the Scarlet Spider um, vintage or retro packaging um, version that came out um, I believe it was this year 2024 or something last year but I think it was this year um, a very exciting release everybody wanted a nice update to their old um, Scarlet Spiders um, especially this version the one with the hood um, and we finally got it here um, in 2024 with a lot of new modifications or not modifications but with new um, oh god I can't think a uh, new articulation scheme and a new body molds which are just reuse of those of the um, renew your valves body mold and some other ones I can't think which ones are reused um, but there we have a little look at the packaging you have a little read up on him there you have the switchable hands there nice little sort of art there nothing else nice art there at the front spider-man logo and then you have a nice um, clear window um, unfortunately I do not collect inbox so let's find a gap here and we open up the figure as such and with that being said I'll take this out of the tray and we'll take a closer look so straight out of the packaging it is an impressive figure and he comes with two fisted hands right out of the box he also comes with two thwipping hands or thwippers, whatever you want to call them, whatever Spider-Man fans call them. And he also comes with um, two wall crawling hands or wide open hands, whatever you want to call them. Um, but yeah, nice pair of hands as we should get with every single Spider-Man. And man, this is getting blurry. There we go, a little clearer shot there. Um, but yeah, nice set of hands and accessories that we should see with every Spider-Man um, moving forward. Um, but with that being said, let's look at his articulation and the detail. As you saw from some of the poses um, with the interchanged um, hands, you can get a, a wide range um, with the Spider-Man here. Um, this is my favorite design, um, you know, of Spider-Man, or at least the Scarlet Spider um, next to the other scarlet spider these are two of my favorite designs the third one would be the house of m which i know we do have a marvel legends but it's kind of like a smaller body build i hope we can get a uh that version remade either with this mold or you know just the brand new mold um but yeah those are my favorite designs um but looking at the articulation here um, everything is smooth for the most part from what I could see um, yeah the head has some serious gap itch. it's still using that system where they have this notch on the back um, yeah it allows for more upward movement and you know it's cool for those straight ahead shots where he's crouching and whatnot um, but from the side you're gonna start to see some gapping uh, looking down is pretty good and then you do get good pivoting in there arms go out about that much um he, he it's, uh, i can't speak all the articulation is pretty smooth on mine so far you have your bicep swivel i believe you have um, butterfly joints in there but yeah they're not going to be as useful because of the um layered piece there of the hoodie um but you do have the articulation there bicep swivel double jointed arms um hinge for all of his hands um, so they all hinge horizontally in and out as such yeah they're all the same um, upper torso um, rotation there or rocker whatever you want to call it so you get some nice side to side and some nice back to forward and then you have the reverse ab crunch down here so you can bend forward very well um, yeah this kind of gets in the way because it is a separate piece of plastic but it is pretty soft so he can bend forward a little more um, and going back is just ridiculous um, he can kick forward about that much 
and out about that much he does have the drop down hips as you can see there you have upper thigh cut double jointed knees and calf swivel there um foot goes back and forward and then you have your ankle pivot and then the famous toe joints that everybody wants um so yeah fantastic range of motion with this guy i'm all around he's fun to just mess around with and just put in simple poses as such just makes him look very cool in my opinion you know there's a lot of variety and you can get a lot of crazy poses with this guy looking at a closer look add to the sculpting here um paint wise mine seems to be in pretty good shape no complaints there um i do believe these are new and not reused from this version or our very other old version so yeah no these are much bulkier it seems um different um belt piece as well this was sort of sculpted into um the body which you know didn't really let it um rotate like smoothly and whatnot um but it's much way better this way it's just separate piece it's not molded into you know the upper torso and whatnot um so yeah this is a brand new piece with nice paint going all around some nice pouches down here with a tint of silver there very nice these are also new and not to reuse from the old one or at least i think so yeah they seem to be different uh let's see this side yeah definitely different different sculpting going on there and then you have the silver buckles um in the inside which this one also had um which is nice but um very drastically different compared to this one um in terms of color can see this guy is much more brighter and i think i prefer that yeah i do like these colors a lot more um does i think he does stand a little bit you know taller and just bulkier um than this one as you can see there um much bulkier taller than this previous one this was the original vintage carded um, um scarlet spider and then here's the renew your vows um spidey which i think the whole body mold for this is this it's just has it just has a new um head sculpt down there in different pieces and then our other scarlet spider which i hope you know i know hasbro at some point is going to remake all these other ones that we had already gotten in the spider-man retro series and um, with this new body mold because you know these guys still have the pins they don't have the toe articulation um you know pin uh, or pinned arms and stuff whereas this is all pinless and has the toe joint so eventually i think they'll get around to remaking all of these guys um, with this new mold all right everybody i think that does it for my review overall he is a fantastic figure um yeah the articulation can get a little um, obstructed because of the, the hoodie piece um, I failed to mention that it's sort of a separate piece, so a lot of people I've seen um, kind of want um, or wanted a hooded up piece um, for the head sculpt, um, which would have been nice, but I personally wouldn't display it like that. Um, I think it's fine just as it is, but maybe a little fun accessory to have would have been great. Um, you know, maybe some webs and whatnot, but um overall it's a fantastic feature it's a worthy addition to your collection it's a nice update to the previous scarlet spiders um so yeah fun uh scarlet spider fun spider-man figure fun to pose and just look at um the colors pop um but they're not too distracting just an overall well-made figure so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the future review of late Marvel Legends um yeah I'll, I'll slowly catch up with any Marvel Legends I want to um get but yeah this this is a must so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed I'll see you next time